and college football opt-outs. Now, I'm not going to go through an entire list or anything like that. In the NFL, we have had 69 opt-outs. And, of course, obviously, you see the tweet come across, and then every single response is nice, right? So you've got all that. But we are starting to see a massive number of college football players that are deciding to opt out. Now, we thought this was going to be a major problem if they decided to play in the spring. And we've got a, a mix here in college football of players that are wanting to make sure that they are good to go for for this coming season, like for the next NFL season. And then you've got other players that just don't know what the long-term ramifications are and they don't want to risk it. Um, you know, we had, there were six guys at Maryland, including starting quarterback Josh Jackson, who decided to uh, opt out today. On top of that, you got offensive lineman Jordan Reed, who, from the ratings that I've been going through, it is the best player at Michigan State. Um, you got all kinds of guys. Chandler Wooten, linebacker at Auburn. Uh, Rondell Moore, of course, you and I talked about him last night. Just a ton of guys that are opting out for this season because they don't want to uh, take a risk. And and we totally get that. Totally makes sense. Uh, were you surprised at the number of college football players that, that were deciding to opt out just because of, of the fear of the unknown? No, because I think the season is going to be a weird season anyway. And you just don't want this to be your last. If this season ends up being a shit show, you would like to – not have that be on your resume going to the NFL if you've already got a pretty strong resume. Yeah. No, I, I can understand that. Uh, Terry jumps in. He said, I mean, I wear my mask, and I can understand because when I'm working, uh, it's hot. Hold on. It, <laughs> I got a bunch of them. Uh, it's hot. It gets hard to breathe through them. So what happens during the heat when half the coaches pull it down? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, they're just going to pull it down, guys. I mean, yeah, that, I don't sometimes know what you it's going to happen, but it, it's if still better. If you watch better. the NBA – these guys just pull it down, okay? Yeah. You are you're right about that. Matt said it's going to be great for bench players uh, to get to start and get reps on the field, more game film. Yeah, hundred percent. I think it's going to add more depth for uh, for the next season for sure. Uh, but it's I mean we still don't know exactly what's going to happen with eligibility, I and mean, we're still trying to figure that out. For you know you're supposed to have eighty five scholarships. You know I'm sure the NCAA is going to come out and, and fix that, but I mean who knows at this point? Who knows the NFL stuff? Uh, it, 69 seemed a little low to me for the number of players. Um, were, were you surprised at that, or do you think there will be more once once we get into the season? And by no, more, I, I mean think, like significantly more. No, I thought I thought this is. I mean, I don't know what I was thinking, but this is this is about right. And it's mostly offensive linemen. It's mostly the guys who are, I guess, the most to at, be at overweight yeah. for their position. That makes sense. That makes sense. I I thought. You know, obviously, it's it's something that we knew was going to happen, um, but it it's so weird when you do see the the kids actually uh, the names popping up, like that's that's what makes it a little bit crazy. Um, let's see. All right, let's uh, let's move on to this next topic. I, I thought we had some more chats coming in. Da, 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 da. Write down my time. 